And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Crossways is a game in which players are playing cards from a, uh, basically a regular deck of cards to get pieces to go across the board. Now, if this seems familiar to you, that's because it is. There is a game called Sequence, which has a similar feel to this game, but they are very different games. Let me show you how. Here's the board for Crossways, which has a bunch of spaces on it. Many of them are white, others are red and black with numbers corresponding to a deck of regular cards. The game comes with two decks of cards that are mixed together. These cards are the traditional uh, suits of cards, the clubs, the hearts, the diamonds, and the spades, and they're just basically two decks mixed together. Each player is going to get dealt five of these, or four of them, and players are also going to get a bunch of pieces of their color. So you'll have purple, green, yellow, and blue. These pieces stack, as you can see. And one player is chosen to go first, and the game progresses. Now you can play where players are working as a team or by themselves. The gameplay plays pretty much the same way. On your turn, you have a couple options. The option that you'll probably use the most often is to discard a card from your hand and place a piece of your color on top of that one. So that was a two black spade. So I can put it on this two black over here or this two black over here. There's two different spots on the board. If someone's already on that spot, I can place mine on top of theirs. That space would here would be purple and green. Uh, if my own piece is already there, I can put a purple on top of it. Once there's two of someone's color on a space, nobody else can place any on that space. Now, what you might also do is you can play a pair or even more than a pair, but a a pair is most likely what you're going to get in your hand. That allows you to play two and allows you to play two anywhere. So I could play them right there if I wanted to do that. Or I could put them on the white. This is the only way to place them on the white and you must put both on the same white space. Each white space can needs two. You can never just put one on it. So the only way to get them on there is by a pair. Or the final thing you do is you can play a run of cards. They have to be the same suit. So here I have eight, seven, and nine of clubs. When I play a run of cards, the number that I play from that run is going to be the number I can remove from the board of someone else's color. I can't remove just one from a white, I would have to remove both, and I could remove one from there too because I played a run of three. And so this is how the game is gonna to continue to go on. And players are gonna be playing these. What you're trying to do is you are trying to go from one side of the board to the other side in, it doesn't have to be a straight line, so for example, if I'm going from this side to this side, uh, this here is totally legitimate. Now, of course, people are gonna try to be block me. They're gonna be trying to go from one side to the other side. In a four-player game, things are crazy, but in a two-player game, you're working together to get, I mean, or in a, or in a team player game, you're, you're trying to work together to go from one side to the other. And so that's basically it. You play a card, and then you draw a card, and then it's the next person's turn. Now you can play multiple cards, and you'll draw back up to five. And again, remember, pairs or triplets can allow you to place anywhere you want, and on the white spots and runs lets you remove other people's. That's how you play. So you can see, if you've played sequence, how there is a difference. In sequence, you're trying to get five in a row. Uh, here in this game, you're trying to go from one side to the other side, and there's a lot more uh, interaction in this game because a run of two is not that difficult to get so you're able to remove two things from the board and in fact that would be this game's only real weakness is if someone decides to play vindictively where they're just going and taking other people's stuff off the board they can kind of bog the game down fortunately you have to play from the same suit uh, when I first played, I missed that rule where you had to play from the same suit and it was just a, these, any run count and people were just removing stuff all over the place. As it stands, the game is very light. It's best played as in teams, two versus two, I think. Um, the, it's going to fit in that same category of sequence and that style. If people like that, they're going to like this one. I can see this one very easily being sold at you know, your regular department stores and, and stores and, and I can see getting my grandma to play this and other things. Um, so Crossways, it's not a game that, you know, super excited me, but it is an easygoing game where you can sit around a table and play it. So I like it a little. 
I don't think it's the best thing ever. It's just easy going, kind of a time waster style game. And in that regard, as it succeeds, I think it's going to meet its target audience, which I don't think is me, but at least, um, well, there it is. That's what it is, Crossways. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the doors! Yeah. Yeah.